When living in Austria, you might ask yourself, what do I do when I'm sick? Why is the e-card important? What rights and obligations do pregnant women have? And what services do health insurances actually cover? My name is Derek Gonzalez, and in this Start Dean video, we will be exploring the healthcare system in Austria. Austria has a very good healthcare system. In order to benefit from it, you need to have health insurance. Basically, there are three types of insurance. The mandatory insurance for employees, self-employed persons, pensioners, and asylum seekers. Voluntary self-insurance for students or people in marginal employment, and the co-insurance for family members and children of non-working spouses. Depending on the profession, there are different health insurance companies in Austria. The three most important are UGK for most workers and employees, the SVS for self-employed people, the BVAEB for public servants, railroad and mining workers. My tip, if you are new to Vienna, make sure you have a valid health insurance so that you can get an e-card. e-card is a chip card that has your name on it. It is personal and non-transferable. In addition to your photo, you will find your social security number on the card. This number consists of 10 digits. You will need the social security number for many official procedures, for example at the tax office or the public employment service, IMS. My tip, always carry your e-card with you. It is your key to the Austrian healthcare system and it is required every time you visit a doctor. You can find out how to get a health insurance and the e-card in the video, Health Insurance and e-card. What do you have to pay attention to when visiting a doctor in Austria? A distinction is made between panel doctors, Kassen Erztinen, and private doctors, Wahl Erztinen. Basic examinations are usually free of charge with panel doctors, provided you have an e-card. Private doctors do not have a contract with social health insurance. Because of this, you have to pay for the treatment yourself, and upon request, you will be compensated up to 80% of the cost that a panel doctor would have received for this treatment. There are many multilingual doctors in Vienna. At praxisplan.at, you can find doctors who speak your language. If this doctor has a contract with health insurance, there are no costs for you. In addition to the services provided by panel doctors, the health insurance covers in whole or in part, among other things, costs for medication, rescue or medical transport, treatment in public hospitals, preventative medical examinations, sickness benefits, and aids such as wheelchairs. For additional benefits, you can take out private supplementary insurance. Attention! If you do not have health insurance, you will have to pay for your own treatment in the event of an accident or hospitalization. You can find out more about this topic in the video, Doctor's Visits and Medical Services. <music> to stay healthy, you should have free preventative medical checkups. More about this on the website gesundheit.gov.at. If you are sick, go to your family doctor. If you are in an employment relationship, you must inform your company immediately and provide a sick leave certificate. Learn more about sick leave in our videos on employment law. In the event of an emergency, please alert the rescue service by dialing 144 on your telephone. For general health information, the telephone health advice service is available at 1450. The Vienna Social Fund FSB supports people with high support needs. If you have mental health problems, the psychosocial services are there to help you. The Austrian healthcare system offers full protection for pregnant women, children, and young parents. The most important document that accompanies you through this special phase of life is the mother-child passport Mutter Kind Pass. 
It is a guide to important examinations and promotes the health of the mother and child. Attention! Some of the examinations in the passport are mandatory in order to be eligible for child care benefits. My tip, register with the maternity clinic in good time. For public clinics, registration is done via the website geburtsinfo.bin. Women who are employed or registered with the IMS enjoy maternity protection in Austria. They are not allowed to work eight weeks before and eight weeks after delivery. In the case of premature births, multiple births, or C-sections, the protection period after delivery is at least 12 weeks. During maternity leave, you do not receive a salary, but Wochengeld for the Austrian Health Insurance Fund. Working parents in Austria have the right to up to two years of maternity leave. During the same time, they can also receive child care allowance. More about this in our video, Pregnancy, Childbirth, and Parenthood.